Hey guys, welcome to Vlogist Day 7. <laughs> um, it's already afternoon. It's 1.30. Jess is home now. He's back there with all his cars on the floor. <laughs> We're just running around in circles. It's yeah, it's broken. Mama can't fix it either. It's broken, broken, broken. He stepped on his school bus and broke the wheel off of it and I can't fix it. It broke the little plastic axle. <laughs> but, um... Cut it off. This one? No. Mama can't just break them off, Bubba. I'm sorry. Um, yesterday's video kind of ended abruptly. Ab abruptly? I can't even say that word. <laughs> because I just kind of started feeling bad and I ended up just laying down the rest of the evening until Devin got home. And then this morning I had some errands to run so I didn't film anything. I had to go to the post office and to the store and then I went and got Jesse and then we were just all three hanging out at home until just now Devin just left. So, um, thought I'd pick up and film a little. I'm thinking about going over there <laughs> and filming, or filming, crocheting some, uh, where is the TV room? Some candy corns. Because Catherine's grandmother has a Facebook group that is buy, selling, and trading craft stuff. Mo uh, mostly for wreaths. Because um, she makes wreaths out of like mesh and stuff and ribbons. And uh, my hair looks jacky. <laughs> I was laying on the couch earlier. But um, anyways, I was going to make some of those and see if anybody wanted to buy any for fall wreaths. Uh, since it's that time of the year almost. People who are already crafting stuff like that, you know. Be careful. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna sit here and probably crochet a couple of those just to post, and then you know I can make more later. And then orders them. He's got all his. You're silly. What does she? Say hi, guys. No, I'm a hugger. Okay. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, and um, I gotta work on the Mandela Madness today. And uh, is TV broken? Yeah, it's broken. I'd like to try to hey! finish the Magic Art Pad today. Uh, I don't know if I'll get any of it done because I don't know things have just been a little slow the last few days. I haven't really been feeling all that great, so I'm just gonna take it easy. And what I get, what gets done, will get done, and what doesn't, won't. <laughs> so I'll see you guys What's in another that? clip later today, probably. What's that? It's a tire. No, it's just a wheel. Oh, it's a wheel. I'm sorry. And this wheel. And this wheel. Hmm. What happened to your bus? It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. Broken. You see here? Yeah. He's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Tired baby. You wanna go take a nap? No. I'm oh, sad. You're sad? Why are you sad? I'm oh, sad too. Poor baby. Oh, it's broken in the morning. I'm gonna get fix it. Yeah, I can't fix it. It's too broken. See, it got a free wheel on it. Yeah. That's Maybe it would have got because um, it's broken. Yeah, it's broken. It's broken. I'm sorry, baby.
What do you got, Jesse? I don't know. Yummy worms. Yummy worms. And you just put them in the pool. They're swimming. I mean, they're wet now. Your your yummy worms are wet. Hey guys, um, I was sitting here crocheting and I realized I didn't really film much today. <laughs> um, today was a really hectic day with Jesse. He's kind of tantrum me today. <laughs> he threw a lot of tantrums today. And so I spent a lot of time just with him and playing with him and trying to keep him happy. <laughs> um, and then I sat and crocheted on the Mandala Madness for like two hours while he played on our porch with his rocks and in his little pool and stuff. And uh, he did something so cute. I was weaving in the ends to my Mandala Madness. And um, so I had a pile of ends in rainbow colors that I had trimmed sitting there and he came in you know because he keeps he comes in and out while he's playing and he said um what did he say first i'm trying to remember what he said first oh he said what he asked me what it was and i said it's just it's yarn ends and he said yarn ends and then he went oh, it's yummy worms because <laughs> he calls gummies yummies because of a blippy song he calls them uh in the, the blippy song he says uh yummy worms so uh jesse calls gummies yummies and when he was, he grabbed up all my yarn ends and said, yummy worms. And he took them out and he put them in his little pool. And he said, mama, the yummy worms are swimming in the ocean. <laughs> it was just so cute. And he played with them for like an hour, pretending they were gummy worms. And it was really cute. They're actually still out there. I got to clean them up tomorrow. But I ain't going to worry about it right now. It's dark. It is about 9.35 right now. Right? Yeah. Jesse fell asleep at about 15 to 9, uh, so I put him in bed, and then I came in the living room, picked up his toys, swept, and mopped, because there was a big sticky spot on the floor from where he dropped something. <laughs> My hair looks really bad. I was laying in bed with him while he was falling asleep. We had a cartoon on watching it, and he fell asleep. It was real cute. But, um, yeah, so I'm sitting here working on the Mandela Madness again. I just started part 15. I'm on the first round of part 15. I have... I see here. I have no 18 more rounds to do. Um, I'm gonna have to get some more amethyst. I'm, I ran out of amethyst earlier, and I'm probably gonna need more spring green. I'll have to buy some more because I'm actually almost out of spring green. Finally, I've had so much of that for years, and now I'm finally running out of it. Uh, I think that's all that I'll have to rebuy. I don't. I don't know. I have to just wait and see what the rounds do. Uh, I have read ahead on the pattern and just to see if there's any more really difficult rounds and they all seem pretty simple from uh, from now on. <laughs> so I'm just sitting here now working on the Mandela Madness and watching YouTube videos. I'm trying to catch up. I'm so behind on the channels that I watch. I have, I'm down to 35 videos on my watch later which is good because I've been trying to catch up the last few days. I don't know how I got so behind. I think it's just because vlog has started and uh. I've just been busy with the kids over the few days, and then lately on the weekends, we I don't do anything hardly. I don't crochet or watch videos because I'm out with Jesse and Devin doing stuff, or we're just hanging out at home, so I gotta catch up on that. I've decided today, a little while ago actually, while I was sweeping, I was thinking about it, that I need to go ham on the Mandela Madness. I'm gonna, all my crochet time... I'm going to spend on the Mandala Madness trying to get it done. And hopefully the next like week I want to have it done. We ends woven in and put up for the fair. So that then I can, the next two and a half-ish weeks after that, I can work on the littler stuff for the fair. I've only got a few more things that I want to make. Excuse me. And none of it should take too long because it's all just like smaller projects. So I want to hurry up and finish Mandala Madness, work on the little stuff, and have everything ready. I have a few things finished that I have to do like last minute tweaks on like my um, Snappy Tots patriotic uh, garden flag. I need to put a dowel through it so that I can hang it and make like a ribbon. I wanted to get some kind of pretty like patriotic ribbon to hang it with. And the Halloween wreath I need to make something to hang it with. Uh, just little things like that and the Christmas ornament that I made. I gotta get one of those little hooky things. I gotta dig it out of my Christmas box. 
so they can hang it up because at our fair they have a little wooden Christmas tree that they display all the Christmas ornaments on uh, so it needs to be able to hang but yeah I just got to go ham on Mandela Madness and I did good today I finished two whole rows today and I'm working on another one I may be able to finish this one tonight because like I said it's not even 10 o'clock yet and uh, this row's going really fast it's mostly double crochets but yeah I think I've got everything done tonight that I was wanting to get done I gotta do some running around tomorrow uh, I'll try to remember to film it's hard when I'm alone with Jesse driving and stuff to remember to film while we're in stores but I know I need to go to uh, Walmart because I gotta get some milk and I'd like to get some kind of fruit right now the only fresh fruit that we have is apples and oranges and me and Jesse ate the last banana today and I like having a ton of fruit on hand because me and Jesse both love snacking on fruit uh, I'll probably get some grapes if they're on sale I don't know, maybe some strawberries. I don't know. <laughs> um, what else was I having? Oh, I need to go to this town next to us. Sorry, I'm shaking the camera. The town next to us that has uh, fabric at their Walmart, like bolts of fabric, and get some Harry Potter material because I've been asked to make a notions pouch for a lady who's doing a swap with someone. And our Walmart doesn't carry any any fabric but like some fat quarters and none of them are Harry Potter one they're all like regular colors and baby themed and some Marvel themed but no Harry Potter ones so I gotta go get that I ordered today a uh, yard of really cute fabric with sheep on it uh, I only ordered a yard of it because I wanted to get it and try it out and see if I even liked it and all that from Etsy shop and it shipped already today I ordered it this morning and I got the email about it processing and then about an hour ago I got the email saying that it shipped so that's cool it's pretty fast it's coming from California so it probably we'll see what is today Tuesday Saturday or Monday I should get that um probably Saturday I should also get my knit crate on Saturday <laughs> I've already looked ahead I know what this month's gonna be kinda <laughs> but um and I will be giving this month's knit crate away uh what was I going to say? Oh yeah, uh, the sheep fabric. I, I got a yard of it, so that's enough to make. I'm going to try to make two project bags and maybe two notion pouches. It all depends on how I cut it and which way the print is facing. I hope the print is facing up and down on the yard and not side to side. Because when it's up and down, I can just cut it, in ha you know, not in half, but cut it straight to make a bag. But if it's facing the other way, I have to cut that in half and then sew it together sideways so the image is facing the right way. I don't know. We shall see. <laughs> but yeah, uh, there was a person who was wanting a sheep bag. I don't know if she still is because it's been a while. I haven't been able to find a good uh, material. I wish we had a Joann's here so that I could just go to Joann's every time I wanted to get material. I might go to Joann's in a few weeks. I don't know. I'm waiting for them to have another good sale on cotton fabrics we shall see <laughs> but i'm gonna hop off here and crochet for a little while uh i probably won't go to bed till about 11 ish unless jesse wakes up but he's been sleeping really good since we've got him off of milk and um that's one reason i have to go to get milk tomorrow is because we have a gallon and a half in the fridge but it expires like the date is today so it'll be gone bad in like a couple days and it's because I used to have to buy like five or six gallons a week because Jesse drank so much milk. He was always wanting milk. But now we've cut him way back on milk. He doesn't drink milk at all during the day. And he does go to bed with milk now in his sippy cup. But he literally takes one drink of it and then just sits there and holds it until he falls asleep. Um, so I, we got him off the bottle and now we got him off of milk. So now I want to try to get him off of going to bed with a sippy cup at all. I mean, I'm, I'm sure he could because he doesn't even drink it when he takes it to bed with him. But he seems to like holding it. I don't know. It's like a comfort thing. But um, because we've gotten him off of milk, now he hasn't been taking his naps. Like he used to take a nap at like he'd wake up at 7 to 8-ish. And then he would take a nap anywhere from like 10 to 12 in the mornings. And he hasn't been doing that. He's been waiting. Like some days, depending on what we're doing, he will lay on the couch while watching tv or in the floor and fall asleep because he's so tired but a lot of the times like today he won't nap at all and he did get a little tired earlier and he asked to go lay down 
but it was like six something and I told him no so we went outside and that's when we started playing out in the pool and stuff and um because I didn't want him to go to sleep and then stay up real late so I distracted him that way for a few hours and then we came in and he watched a little bit of tv and he ate uh some food and then we went in my my room and watched cartoons in there in bed and uh that's when he fell asleep at eight something it was like 8 30 ish something and then i let him lay there for like 15 minutes to make sure he was getting to sleep um and usually if you know, like if i have him skip his nap he'll sleep really good all night the other day he did it and he went to bed at eight something and he slept until seven something the next morning so that's good <laughs> i hope that's what happens tonight we shall see but uh yeah i'm gonna hop up here and crochet for a little while and try to catch up on some more youtube videos and uh, I'm sorry for the lack of footage today, but I'll try to do better tomorrow. Some days are just going to be boring because I can't do something cool every day. <laughs> but uh, yeah, see you in the next clip.